Once you know you're dealing with Staphylococcus bacteria, you'll perform a coagulase test, which includes the addition of rabbit plasma. If, upon addition, the organism coagulates or solidifies, you'll know you have a positive coagulase test and you know that you're dealing with Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus is commonly seen in skin infections, respiratory diseases, and food poisoning. If, upon addition of rabbit plasma in your coagulase test, your organism remains liquid or does not coagulate or solidify, you'll then need to perform a novo biosin test, another test. In this test, you'll add an actinomycete antibiotic known as novo biosin, and if your organism is sensitive to this antibiotic, you'll know that you're dealing with Staphylococcus epidermidis. This is commonly seen in catheter infection due to its biofilm creation. If your organism is not sensitive to the novo biosin, you'll know you're dealing with Staphylococcus saprophyticus, which is seen in urinary tract infections.